Welcome to the Positive Demonstration of IoT based human health monitoring system using uh, Arduino Nano and we are monitoring the health parameters on ThinkSpeak cloud platform. So this can be accessed from anywhere in the world and we can store that till we erase uh, the data will be stored in that only and it's a graphical presentation. So here we are monitoring health parameters like heartbeat in uh, beats per minute and SpO2 in percentage. So these two parameters will be achieved with the help of Mac uh, max 30100. So this green color uh, is a max 30100 sensor and it was interfaced to the Arduino Nano board. So below this TP4056 uh, we place the Arduino Nano board. So which was connected to the A4 A5 pins to the max 30100 and the so called data will be uploaded to the ThinkSpeak cloud platform with the help of this ESP8266 Wi Fi module which was connected pin number 8 and 9. So the whole system getting power supply from this lithium ion battery of 3.7 volts 2600 milliampere uh, current rating and which is a rechargeable battery. In order to recharge this battery just we need to connect the C type charger over here and the red light will show the status of battery is charging. So once the battery is fully charged the red light will get switched off and the blue lights uh, below this will get switched on. So that is the indication of the battery is got fully charged. So before execution of the project the very first thing is we should keep the battery for full charge. Okay that is the first step and the next step is we are going to uh, on the hotspot in your mobile phone. So go to hotspot settings of your phone and change the hotspot name to project 5H9H without any space without any capital letter and password should be 12345678 and epiband 2.4 gigahertz so after this on the hotspots along with data and then log into the thinkspeak cloud platform right okay and stay on the screen in the hotspot settings so there we get the one device is connected and then you can mount the device in your wrist so like is shown in the video okay no need to keep it very hard so if the valid heart rate and SPO2 was achieved then there will be a LED indication one light is power LED indication one light is blinking off it is a uh, storing status of the data is reading and another LED so will show the status of valid data now on this this is on off switch so there we can see the one device is connected after that one LED will get switched on right now it is on and off two times so one device is connected now go to ThinkSpeak cloud platform so before getting this uh, fresh data we need to erase that before erasing that better to download the data so for that go to data import export download the data and open so we can get the data in excel sheet format so which consists of date time and how many samples still now taken and the first one uh, the first column is going to be the heart rate and second column is the spo2 so right the field one is heart rate field 2 is the spo2 data so after you download the data next to erase that go to channel settings in that only do clear channel don't delete or don't do any, any other changes so clear channel so the data got cleared now and now go to private view stay on the screen right so there you can see one light is not on now so when we mount it properly so there is a sensor we can see that the two LEDs so this above LED is the sensor which is reading the data now you can see one light is on already the two lights are continuously on so now we are getting the value it's, uh, it's off means it's not providing the valid data right now it is valid data
So we need to mount it properly on your wrist so that you will get the valid data. So now we are receiving the valid data. If you move the hand or if you move the watch, so then the data will be coming to come down to zero and uh, you get the abnormal data over there. So the data ray uploading rate to the ThinkSpeak cloud platform is 15 seconds. So for every 15 seconds only the ThinkSpeak can accept the data from ESP8266. So that is the data upload rate and accept rate for the ThinkSpeak cloud platform. So till you switch off this cage the data continuously upload to that and till uh, clear the channel the data stays in the ThinkSpeak cloud platform. Right.